One of the trickier things that we did this week was look at how to convert a recurring decimal into a fraction. <clears throat> so when it's a terminating decimal, it's not too bad. Um, we just write it over the power of 10, represented by the last column it's in, um, and then we go through a process of simplification. But here, um, we use this special um, tricky roundabout algebraic method um, <clears throat> and there's plenty of examples in the study guide for those. I just want to go through one of these mixed ones. I think these are the hardest ones so if you can understand how to do these then you should be pretty right. So our first step is I say or I assume that there's some fractional representation for this number. So it's 0.106 recurring, just the 6 recurs. So what I do is I say, um, I'm going to say that f, which represents my fraction, is equal to 0 0.106 recurring, like this. <coughs> and now in um, some of the other examples, what we do is we look at 10 times f. <coughs> so 10 times f looks like this. But what you might notice here is that these two numbers um, don't have the same decimal component. So what I'm looking for is two numbers that have exactly the same decimal component so that I can do um, so that I can you know do some subtraction and then get rid of the decimal parts so that I have whole number quantities that will lead to my fraction. So I can keep on multiplying by 10. Now I get 10.6666. So I still don't have two, um, <coughs> still don't have two decimals that have the same decimal part. But when I go to a thousand f, now I have. <coughs> I've got these two decimals. A hundred f, which leads to the, which is represented by the decimal 10.6 recurring, and then a thousand f, which is represented by the decimal. 106.6 recurring. <clears throat> so if I do a subtraction with these two numbers and work out the difference, what I'll have is 1000f minus 100f is the same as, I just write it out in the decimal part, is the same as 106.66 recurring minus 10.66. So on this side, I've got 1,000 minus 100 lots of f, and that gives me 900 f. <clears throat> and then on the other side, I've got the decimal parts will cancel each other out. I mean, you might recognise that this is 106 and 2 thirds, might write that out, it's 106 and 2 thirds minus 10 and two-thirds. So, but either way, um, once I've got that recurring decimal and they're the same, I know that the decimal parts will cancel out, and on this side I just get 96. So I've got that 900f is equal to 96. Um, I then, to get f by itself, an expression of f by itself, I divide both sides by 900, because that enables me to cancel out essentially this 900 here. So I get f is equal to 96 on 900. <clears throat> and then my last step is just to simplify this fraction. Um, <clears throat> so I can look at it here. One of the methods that we can do is just keep on taking smaller and smaller factors out. So if I do it that way, then I get 96 over 900 equals 48 over 450, they're both still even numbers, so I can have 24 over 225. <clears throat> and then at this point I need to think about um, whether these are relatively prime or not. Um, I can do that in terms of, um, well, looking at, looking at these, I've got 2 and 4, so that's divisible by 3. And then 2 plus 2 plus 5 is also 9, so that's divisible by 3. So I can still go further and make it 8 <coughs> divided by 75. <coughs> and 
And then at this point, I believe, yeah, at this point, those numbers are relatively prime. So what I also could have done is looked for the highest common factor of these numbers, which um, must have been 12, I guess. And then if I divided 96 by 12 and 900 by 12, I'd get to here as well. So the important part of this process is just continuing to multiply our fraction by 10 until we get two numbers that have exactly the same decimal component. And then we can do the subtraction. And everything else sort of follows from that. And, you know, we could see from this first position, maybe we could see that in order to get this bit as the decimal, I need to multiply by 100 and then one extra 1,000 so that I get two of them. I don't necessarily have to write them out step by step, but sometimes this just helps us, helps us find them. Okay, have a good day.